month, new apps are being added to Canva. This is episode five already of hot new Canva apps, and I'm going to focus on the 12 latest design apps that have been added to the marketplace. That's a lot of apps to review, so I'm going to do this rapid fire style. Let's go. Hey, what's up everyone? Ronnie here. Welcome back to our channel. This is definitely the best place on YouTube for you to learn about Canva. And in this series, Hot New Canva Apps, I talk about what I think of all of these latest apps that are being added to the Canva marketplace. Today, I'm going to focus on the design apps, the AI powered apps that have recently been added there. There's a bunch of them. So I figured instead of showing you the three best, I'm going to review them all and give you a rating out of five and we are going to do this in a specific order i'm going to start with the ones that i think are the best ones and gradually work our way down to the worst one so that's what's on the program for today let's start with the best app of the month the first app we are going to review is called Background Eraser. Okay, so just search for Background Eraser. It has this little goat. It's not a goat, it's like a ram animal on it. So just click on that and you'll see it's very straightforward. So let's first get the app's details. Object appear and background disappear. All right, so this is very interesting because the Canva Pro background remover is like the name indicate a pro feature. So here we have an app App, background eraser that kind of does the same thing or actually promises to do the same thing but that will not require a Canva Pro subscription so I'm very I was very curious to test this app and that's what we are going to do right now so that's for the info of what it does what it is now in terms of UI as you can see it's very basic so upload an image and watch the background disappear all right so I'm gonna just choose an image from here. For example, I'm going to go with this image right here of Diana. Okay, so that's the image and I'm going to remove the background. So it takes a little bit of time. I'm not going to speed up the video. I want you to experience the real thing and show how much time it takes to actually remove the background of this photo. <laughs> There you go. Here is my photo. So what I've done is that I brought my original photo right here so you can see what kind of job has been done here. So I see immediately there's a problem with the computer. So part of the computer has been deleted. The rest has been kept. I have a little bit of the apple right here. There is some blue right here of the background still inside Diana's hand. And yeah, a little bit of the blue background also in Diana's hair right here. If I zoom zoom in. Let me show you. I can collapse this panel. So the job here has been done, I would say, in a bit of a sloppy way. But I mean, I got some of the job done. All right. And I'm going to show you the same process with another photo in a minute. But before I do so, I kind of wanted to show you the kind of job that Canva Pro's background remover would have done with this photo. So what I'm going to do is to copy this photo, duplicate it actually, and bring it here. And now I'm going to select it go to edit photo and use background remover, the pro feature. See how much better or worse the job will be after using the pro feature. So again, not speeding up the video. So what I noticed here, so the job is done, is that first my photo is much better like detoured. Like I still have the table, so it didn't get rid of the table. I still have the full computer. I don't have the little blue part right here in Diana's hand. So let me zoom in properly so you can see. There's a little bit, a tiny bit of blue here, but this part right here has been correctly erased. So that's a big difference from this one. Also the hair, you see this part right here, it's not as clean as this photo right here. So as expected, Canva Pro's background mover did a better job. So that also kind of explains why Canva would allow such an app to be published in their marketplace since it's kind of like cannibalizing their Canva Pro feature and therefore maybe like cutting Canva's income, bread and butter, I would say. Why did they accept such an app in the App Store? So that was my original question. But then after using it for a while, I understand that's because the quality 
quality, it's just not there. Now I'm just quickly going to show you a few other images on which I've used the background eraser and the Canva Pro background remover tool so you can see the difference. So here on top we have background remover, the Canva Pro tool, and at the bottom we have the eraser. So here again we see that part of the aluminum, the foil right here on Diana's hair, has been removed on the free app. If we look at this golden red river, the job is better done. You see it's correctly been erased, so the entire background has disappeared. There's no fault in here, there's no error, but then again Again, if I zoom in, let me first zoom in the Canva Pro picture. Okay, I'm going to zoom in quite a bit and you see the hair, it's very clean. Like the removal of the background is quite professionally done. Now, if I move down to this image, which is the free tool, you can see that gray shade right here, that fading gray. I mean, it's not that obvious when you look at the photo on a reduced size like this but then when you start zooming in you see the difference and you see actually what you're paying for with Canva Pro's background remover. Again, focus on the outline of the dog, okay, the hair, and see how much more detailed and refined the Pro Tool has detoured this image right here. So that is our first app. It's called Background Eraser. My thoughts is that it's a great alternative if you don't have Canva Pro because now you can detour your photos right into Canva. It's as good as many free tools you will find online. It's not as good as Canva Pro's background remover, but I will give it a four and a half out of five because it brings that functionality to free users. And I like that. I like that Canva allowed this app to make it to the marketplace. I think it's a great move to feature the actual strength of their premium tool. So well done for that. The second app we are going to review is called Emoji Artist. So again, I'm going to search for it under the apps button right here, Emoji Artist. It is this one right here with the little girl emoji. So this is what the UI looks like. All right, so you can either generate a new emoji by describing it, or you can explore the library of already created emojis. So that's something cool. I like that you can browse all of these emojis and pretty much use them like use what users have been generating using this app. All right, so let's try to generate our own emoji. All right, I'm going to go for a grandma with lots of tattoos. A grandma with lots of tattoos. Okay, generate. So again, I'm not going to speed up the video. I promise I'm not going to whistle another song as well. But I want to show you the real speed, the real like generation speed of that tool. I think it's important not to create fake expectations. All right, so here is my grandma. She's supposed to have lots of tattoos and I don't see any tattoos. She has double eyebrows though. So I think that's something. All right, so let's try again. Again, a grandma with tattoos. I'd love to get some tattoos on that grandma. So let's try again. There you go. Here is my grandma with tattoos this time. Let me make that bigger so we can appreciate. So I like that. I like that. This is a different style. The eyebrows are a little bit more realistic this time. I like this. This grandma looks cool. She indeed has a bunch of tattoos on her arms. So I think this was pretty faithful. Something else I want to show you. We could have an Asian grandma with tattoos. Okay, let's try adding ethnicity to the mix in my prompt to see if the app can generate specific prompts. So here we have our Asian grandma with tattoos. Let's see if she does look Asian. She could look Asian. It's difficult to see from here because the eyes and the color of the eyes is the same as the first lady here who looks more like either Hispano or maybe African-American. But this person could be Asian right here. I'm not completely sure, but uh, at least we got a slight variation in terms of ethnicity than the first two person. All right, let's try something else. Let's try changing the color of the hair, maybe the color of the glasses. So a Caucasian grandma, Caucasian grandma with pink hair and red 
glasses. Let's see if this works. If we can get to this level of granular detail of representing your emoji, oh, I forgot to mention the tattoos, so we probably will lose the tattoos here. But if we get the right color of hair and glasses, I would say this is a really cool app to play around with. So there you go. There is my new grandma right here. This person looks much younger. Also, I didn't get the red glasses. I got the pink hair, not the red glasses. So let's try one last time. A grandma with pink hair and red glasses. Okay, so I lost the ethnicity and I lost the tattoos. All right, so let's see if emoji artist can bring me that grandma. And then there is one last thing I'd like to try is to ask for a specific setting or background or environment in which my emoji is evolving. So I got the grandma. I forgot if I asked for a specific color of glasses, but yeah. So the hair is right. So let's try one last thing. Let's ask for an African American boy with a backpack, backpack at the park. Okay, let's try this to see the setting. I am quite interested in seeing how the app will generate that background because all of these emojis that we see here, they have been represented on a plain background. So here is my boy at the park. So let's center this. What I see here is that the app has this tendency of using kind of like hazelnut color for the eyes of pretty much every single character except my grandma right here. Also, sometimes you get a full body portrait, sometimes you get a mid shot, sometimes you get a shot which is without like the bottom. So it's kind of like it differs, but I like the precision of this, the accuracy of this app. I like that you can prompt specific things in terms of ethnicity, color, it's not always super accurate for the colors, especially for the glasses. The eyes also have tried different things. Let me show you what I tried yesterday when I was prompting by myself. But yeah, African-American boy with green eyes and blue glasses, didn't get the green eyes. An Indian woman in sari watching TV, so that was pretty good. A white cat with blue eyes, so here could get the colored eyes. Grandma with lots of tattoos, we got this grandma first. Asian grandma with lots of tattoos, we got this grandma second. Caucasian grandma with pink hair, glasses and lots of tattoos. We lost the tattoos, but we got the ethnicity right. All right, so this is where I'm going to stop my review of Emoji Artist. In terms of rating, I give a four out of five to Emoji Artist because first of all, this app is completely free. You don't need to create any account, any sign up. So so that is hassle free as well. I like the accuracy. I like how precise you can be with your prompt. And most of the time it would get it somehow right. So I see lots of use cases for this children's books, some simple illustration for your social media presentation, website, you name it. I think this deserves a four out of five. The next app I'm going to review is called Cartoonify. Okay, the promise here is to turn your photos into fun cartoons. All right, so let's find it in the apps button right here, Cartoonify. It looks like this. That's the lion right here. So I'm going to click on it. And this is how it works. Very basic, very simple. Upload an image or select one in your design to Cartoonify it. I like that. I like that you can simply pick an image from your page. I don't have any here but I'm going to select one right now. I'm going to add an image. All right, so let's add this image of Diana. And I believe for this to work, see, I need to select my image and click on Cartoonify and replace. There you go. This is Diana's Cartoonify. I'm going to paste back the original here to show you. So you let me know. I mean, there is kind of some resemblance. Let's have a look at the details. We can still see some weird AI stuff going on here. Like the hand is still a problem. You see this finger kind of disappearing inside the arm. So that is a problem. The face expression doesn't look too much like Diana kind of kind of, but not that much. The shirt is not the same. We have a buttoned shirt on the generated cartoon while Diana was wearing a simple t-shirt. So yeah, I mean, not great, but 
I mean, not bad either. Let me show you some other attempt of transforming the same image into a cartoon that I did yesterday. So that was my first attempt. So you see, it's already a little bit better, but again, some weird stuff with the hands and arms. You see like the triple elbow right here, it's weird. The fingers, one, two, three, four, five fingers. Where's the thumb? Like there's six fingers on that hand. Let me show you some more photos I did work with Cartoonify. So this photo of Diana and I became this like quite different people if you ask me but the setting so the window the perspective of the walls even the little bit of a keyboard here of our workstation there's there's some sort of a phone or ipad there so i think this is not too bad i mean if you don't need to accurately represent your characters if you just need to turn a photo into a cartoon it does a decent job it's not a great job it's a decent job let's try with our friend kia here okay so we have Kia in the studio it became this guy like a very different mustache we lost the beanie we got like a do we got some flowers we got some sort of what is this like a little shisha going on here so not great but again like not too bad either so after that i decided to try with a logo so i used the canva app logo it became this so not great it did a good job maintaining the gradient. The gradient color looks pretty much the same, but the, we lost the font. It added some details in here that are not necessary, some writing even like in the background over there. And then I used a photo of an animal. I thought, okay, because the logo of this app is this lion. Maybe this works best with animals, characters, like simple stuff. So I searched for a chameleon photo in the Canva library, found this guy. This is a photo with a background. I think there is a white background. And it made this, which is much better. The only thing is the little watermark right here. So yeah, all in all, my verdict for this app, Cartoonify, make your images look like cartoons, is going to be a four out of five. Why? Because I like that there is no login. Again, it's very easy to use. It's free. It's straightforward. You just get in there, put your photo or use a photo, an existing photo from your document. Really like that. I think this is really useful. Then that's the positive points. It's not super accurate. So don't use that if you want to represent exactly like a specific person. It works fine with animals. It works fine with objects. Not that great for like logos, icons and stuff like that. But I think it does a decent job at, yeah, turning people and animals into cartoons. So four out of five. Moving on to the next app, and this one is called Creaky AI Animate. Okay, the tagline, generate 3D animated talking avatars. Okay, so you can add 3D custom animated avatars to your design. It's perfect for creators of all levels, beginners, experience, blah, blah, blah. All right, so what I liked about the promise of this one is that you can generate your 3D avatar and kind of animate it. So they have a bunch of different animations. So let me first show you how it works. So let's first find it in the app marketplace, Creaky AI Animate. It's this one right here with the big K. So I'm going to click here and this is what I see. All right. So this is the UI. It's a little bit more robust than what we've seen so far. First, you need to choose an avatar. Then you choose an animation style. Then you decide what should that avatar say. You can choose a language. You can choose an accent. You could choose between several different voices. So that's pretty cool. And then you generate your avatar and add it to your design. All right. So I can see that I only have one credit here or it says generate one credit maybe that's how much the generation cost one credit so let's try it let's first pick an avatar okay i don't really see the details of each of them very well but i see a skeleton here like a peter pan kind of guy okay let's try one okay this guy right here animation bangra dance chicken dance holiday surprise dance one two three birthday hello kiss so there's a bunch of different animation options right here magic spell birthday hello hip-hop dance let's try hip-hop dance what should i say hello everyone no let's replace that by this biggie 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 can't you see sometimes your words just hypnotize me Okay, that's much better. So language, let's say English, accent, American, voice. Okay, so we can choose between a few different voices here. I don't see Notorious B.I.G., so that's a pity. But we could try Joey and we can preview. 
Hello, this is my voice. Hello. All right, let's just go with the voice of Joey. You have different voices, okay? Joanna, Kendra, Kimberly. Let's say, well, maybe we should have a female voice because that's originally a female singing in the song. Hello, this is my voice. Uh, probably not her, but maybe Johanna. Let's see, Johanna. Hello, Joanna. this is my voice. Okay, let's go with Joanna, but then we need a female, not the previous guy I selected. Okay, so let's go with her. Okay, so I have set everything. I have my text, I have my animation, language, accent, voice. Okay, generate. Okay, it is generating, generating your animation. I'm not gonna speed it up this time so you can see the real speed. And hopefully I got something nice going on to show you in a couple of seconds. All right, since it's loading, I just take that time to remind you that if you're not yet subscribed to our channel, now would be a great time to do so. The button is just right there. You will see also the membership button, the join button. You can check that out if you want to have access to extra perks. All right, Joanna is ready here. Are you guys ready to see it? Biggie, 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 can't you see? Sometimes your words just hypnotize me. Okay, Biggie, Biggie, it's not too bad. Obviously, the rhythm could be better, but I mean, this is not made for singing song, rap songs, but the animation is not too bad. Like, Biggie, Biggie, can't you see? Sometimes your words just hypnotize me. The lip syncing is not great, but I do get something here. And I'm not sure if I've completely exhausted all of my credits here. Like it doesn't tell me how many credits I have. So me, I'm just gonna keep on going. Flamenco, all right. So I could say something like, Vengo de la montaña a caballo para darte un beso. Para darte un beso. Okay, for the non-Spanish speaker, I come from the mountain top on a horse to give you a kiss. All right, uh, let's do language Spanish. Do I have Spanish? Yes, do have Spanish. Accent, Mexican, European, American. Let's go for European. Flamenco comes from Spain. Okay, let's go with Enrique. Yeah, preview Enrique's voice. Esta es mi voz. Mm, yeah, let's see if we get a more flamenco kind of guy. Lucia Sergio. Let's go, Sergio. Hola, esta es mi voz. All right, let's go with Sergio's voice. Let's generate this. Okay, seems like I have another credit I can use. I would love some information about how many credits I have left. But so far, I like what I'm seeing. I mean, it's not the greatest app ever. This is something that would probably require me to update. Oh, <laughs> I thought this was a guy, but it's not. It's also a female. It's fine. I just want to see kind of like how the animation looks like. Let's have a look. Let's make her bigger first. So that is the flamenco dance animation. Let's see. Vengo de la montana, a caballo para darte un beso. <laughs> All right. So I'm not sure if this is flamenco dance. Looks more like maybe a Russian dance thing when you like throw your legs in the air. All right, so I think I'm going to leave it here for my review of Creaky AI Animate. I'm going to give this app a three and a half out of five. What I liked is that it was pretty easy to use. I've got a pretty decent choice of characters. I would love to see them a little bit bigger so I could see their faces, their gender a little bit bigger, or maybe some categories for me to choose the right gender when I pick a character because it's not super obvious. I like that it gives me a certain amount of credits. I couldn't figure out how many, but I imagine that these types of apps would require me to update, probably create an account to get access to the full functionality. This looks like a more robust app than the other one that I have been using before. But yeah, pretty satisfied about what I could do so far. I don't know what I would be using this for. So in terms of use case, is. Apart from having fun with it like I did, I'm not sure this is super useful, but at least it works and it does what it says on the box. So yeah, three out of five. The next app is called Patterned AI and this one is to generate patterns, okay? It says seamless pattern creation made easy with AI. All right, so let's search for it in my app store right here, Patterned AI. Okay, it looks like so. I'm gonna click on it. And this is what the UI looks like. I have two main tabs. The first one is to create, and the second one is a gallery. All right, so from the create tab, I can describe and create a pattern. 
okay? So it says describe your pattern elements, colors, and background. Okay, so you can try an example. Rustic American Southwest desert landscapes, cactus greens, mesa reds, and sunset oranges, Navajo patterns. This seems interesting. Why not? Like, let's generate this pattern, which is based on a quite elaborated prompt. But there you go. This is what I have. I have the desert. Okay, so cactuses, the sun, the mountains. This is quite nice. Why do I have two different versions here? Okay, so I just have two different images generated for me. I prefer this one with the cactus, the cacti. Cacti, is that how you say it? Cacti, let me know our native speaker friend. All right, so this is what it looks like put on my design, okay? So from here, I can decide if I want to stretch this, you see, and make my pattern bigger or just have it this side. So you can always stretch your pattern by simply making more room on this page and yeah, just grabbing a corner and stretching it. I think this is completely fine. All right, so yeah, not too bad. Let me quickly show you some other things that I have been generated. I have generated this one. I think the prompt was a cute corgi. It gave me this. Now you can also explore the gallery. Okay, so let's have a look at the gallery right here. So from here, you have all sorts of patterns generated by the community, I imagine. And you can also search. So if you search, for example, for turtle, let's see if they have some. Yeah, they have four different patterns background right here. Okay, let's try for rocket. Do we have some rocket? So no, it seems there is no result found for rocket, but you may use our AI to make your own unique pattern okay interesting so i'm gonna make rockets let's say a white and pink rocket taking off with a flame with a dark blue background and a moonlight okay let's try this not sure if my prompt is actually correct english but i think we can try this and see Okay, that's not too bad. The moonlight, not really there. The flame, okay, I can see a flame. I don't see the rocket. I like how cute it is. You can zoom in, zoom out. If you scroll down, you can generate that again. You can start over. And I have 12 credits left. I believe when I started using this app, I had 20 credits. So you will have 20 credits. And if you have the number of images set to two, like I have here, this will use two credits. So just be aware of that. Other than that, I think this is cute. I think this this is interesting use cases not completely sure if this will be my favorite app of all times so i'm going to give patterned ai two and a half out of five because i believe there are some other places on the internet where you can find lots of patterns for free you can search for them you don't generate them yourself with an ai prompt which is the kind of like the originality of this app i like that but i mean it's not groundbreaking so yeah two and a half sounds fair Moving on to the next app, this one is called Secret Ink. And the promise is to create hidden text in plain sight, all right? So blend text into any image background to create an artistic illusion. Caution, you might see them in unexpected places. So what this app does is that it creates a design, like a specific image, with some text hidden somehow in the image. So we've seen something similar with QR codes where you have like a design which is a QR code. It's cannibal. So here it's kind of like the same thing, like you have an image and if you look close enough, you see, oh yeah, that's my text right here. So let's try it. Let's first find it. Secret Ink. It looks like this. It has this C or Psi image on the logo. This is a UI, quite basic as well. So enter a message and describe a background and we will create an illusion that combines them. Okay, so well, let's try something with my name. Okay, so that's the message. And then the background description, what should we go for? Let's say a crowded marketplace outside with sunny weather. Okay, a crowded marketplace outside with sunny weather. And I want the word runny to be somehow hidden in this photo. All right, so it's creating my illusion. Please wait. This can be a few moments. This is my crowded marketplace and my name is supposed to be written somewhere 
in here Ronnie oh yeah I can see it if I squint I can see it can you see it this is pretty cool like you really have to squint like I need to do this and then I see it and that's actually pretty cool I like that this is the best result I've seen from this app like I've generated from this app so far because yesterday I played around with this and I got stuff like that so I asked Ronnie in a snowy landscape in the mountains this is what I got so that was very obvious I asked the wink emoji a desert in Africa this is what I got with a flying kind of like cactus right here and then I asked for lol lol underwater coral reef and I got this one again pretty obvious but this one right here is pretty amazing and when you look at the thumbnail you see the thumbnail here we see my name very clearly but when we look at the image we don't so yeah pretty satisfied about this one it's a very straightforward app again it's called secret ink and I'm gonna give this one a two and a half out of five why only two and a half well the app is fun to use but I don't really see a proper use case for this other than a game like the first one who sees it maybe wins or you know like to send some secret messages to your coworker. I don't know I don't see really a real use case other than just having fun with it I like that there is no login required what I didn't like the first time I used it that wasn't the case today is that it's not always subtle okay so the words the desert one my name in the snow none of these were subtle even the coral reef so when I used it yesterday I was like meh but today I was kind of bluffed with the crowded marketplace so I would say it could be a little bit of a hit and miss but yeah I would definitely recommend you check it out because it's new and you might find a proper use case for it so two and a half out of five moving on to the next app it's called pixelify and let's find it straight away in the canva library it looks like this so I like the icon of the app let's click on it and again a very simple user interface so we have to select an image and we'll turn it into a pixelated artwork all right so maximum file size 25 megabyte pixelate the image so again very straightforward I only have to select an image okay so I'm going to start with with this image right here of a character I generated with Dal E. Okay, it's this picture like boar with some futuristic goggles. Let's pixelate this image to see. All right, this was very fast. I didn't speed up anything here. So once you pixelated your image, you can decide on the amount of pixels. So you can go from nothing. So your setting will be set to 50. And then you can go all the way to one and you have two, five, like very little pixels. But then a good amount of pixels would be something in the middle, like a around your 15 16 so this looks good I'm gonna add this to my design okay I'm gonna stretch it to see so yeah this is quite cool I mean let me try a bit more pixels to see if I can still like see the bore like that yeah okay so it does what it says on the box as well this one it just pixelates an image which looks pretty cool I mean if you are into retro art like retro pixel art or if you are designing characters for a video game like an old retro video game this could be useful you could also like pixelate some other things like your logo or a specific character or maybe even like a real person how do I go about start again yes so I'm gonna choose another image I'm gonna go for Diana right here yeah that sounds good I'm gonna delete this guy right here I'm gonna pixelate Diana there you go add Diana to my design with pixels yeah this is pretty fun I have nothing to say here this may be too much pixel I'm gonna add another version with less intensity of pixel but that is quite cool I mean again it's not a groundbreaking app it's not something that I could see myself using all the time but I like that there is no login required I like that it's free I like that it's super straightforward and easy to use so I'm gonna give this app a two and a half out of five because it just works it's easy it's fast but it's not something that I would go back to again and again it has a very precise use case that's why my rating is only two and a half but it does what it promises to do the next app on my list is called Headshot 
row. And the promise is to make a great first impression, enhance your professional profile image with optimal lighting and background, supercharge your job search and career by making a great first impression. Okay, so that's quite a lot. Big promise here, Headshot Pro, let's go. So it's this one right here. And this is what it looks like. So I'm going to try this immediately. All right, so it says upload a headshot and we will enhance it with AI. How do we identify female, male, non-binary? Okay, so I guess I need a photo. So let's go for this one right here, which is a headshot of myself. And I will upload it to my page next. I first need to generate. So I identify as a male, generate. Okay, so again, I'm not going to speed this up. So it gives me a little bit of time to remind you of our YouTube membership. So right here under your video, you should see this join button. If you're curious, you don't know what it is, check it out. This is how paying members, so you can become a monthly paying member of the channel, get access to some new perks, like all our courses are being added there. You can also join our live sessions and hang out with us once in a month. So we have a bunch of different perks for you to check out under the membership. All right, look at this handsome guy generated here in a nice suit. All right, so this is not too far from me, I would say. Let me bring on the original photo so you can really see. Okay, so upload file. This was the original photo right here. I'm going to put it right next to it. Okay, so the pause has been respected. The face, uh, I mean, yes, somehow the beard is right. The hair color pretty much right. The haircut as well. The eyes is still where it's kind of tricky with AI. Still like these previous versions of the AI models that these apps are still running on. I mean, it's not the latest DALL-E. It's not the latest stable diffusion mid journey. So you can see that when you see lack of perfection in specific details like the eyes, the hands, stuff like that. Here we don't see the hands, so it's fine. But that was pretty cool. That was much better than what I was able to generate yesterday. Let me show you. So I went from this very bad haircut of mine to this, but kind of a different guy. And then this, like, who is this guy? Like, never seen this guy, very different from me and this original photo. Similarly, I tried with Diana's photo, like this kind of like crazy hair looking Diana generated me this nice picture. And this lady looks more like Diana, but I mean, not exactly, right? It's not exactly Diana. Also, what happened yesterday, as I was generating more and more of these images, these Headshot Pro, I kept running into these errors, okay, to keep things running smoothly for all. We've set an hourly request limit. So I didn't even prompt that much, maybe three, four different photos. So basically I made these three and then this one there. So I was maximum five photos that I prompted and I got this warning that I was prompting too much. So yeah, I was not so happy about it. That's why I gave it only a two star out of five for first, lack of accuracy. Second, the fact that I was capped at four four or five images per hour, which is understandable. Like if they gave you unlimited amount of photos, there would be no point for them. Like it would be too expensive for them to run this app. But I thought that four was a little bit too little, particularly when they gave me images like these that don't look like me. So I could definitely not use that on my LinkedIn profile or on my resume, like they kind of promised to like upgrade your resume, your job search, whatever. I mean, if it, it's not me, I cannot use that. So yeah, two out of five. The next app we are going to talk about is called People Maker. The promise here, synthetic humans ethically created. So that tagline kind of like raised my attention. What is synthetic humans ethically created, right? So experience People Maker, a powerful tool for creating custom realistic synthetic humans. Fine tune looks, expressions, and ensure they match your design message. It's not just about great design. We prioritize legality and responsibility. Yeah, okay, I see what they mean by ethically sourced is that you are generating humans that are not copyright infringements or using somebody else's identity photo to kind of create your new prompt. This is more ethical than that for some reason. They don't really explain how or why. But okay, let's find it in the apps place, apps marketplace. It's called People Maker. Looks like this. So let's click on it. Let's use this new page. And this is what the UI looks like. You first need to start with a gender. Okay, let's go for 
for a male, adult, child, or senior. I like this interface with the emojis. Let's go for a senior expression. You have happy, neutral, angry, surprised, fretful, or disgusted. Okay, let's go for feeling good today. So let's go for happy. Well, happy is actually the default, like the first one. Let's go for something like surprise. Surprise is a more specific emotion with specific traits of your face. Okay, so I have a male, senior, surprised. Create my person. Okay, so it says allow 10 to 15 seconds for the model to be generated. Not every result is perfect. Feel free to try again. All right, so let's see what kind of people I can generate with this. Okay, so there is this guy right here. So looking surprised, senior. Yeah, I would say this guy is around 55, 60. Not super senior, but kind of like on the older side of things. Okay, so let's try another one this time. Let's try a female, a child, an uh, angry child. Let's go. So there you go, my angry child right here. She does look a little bit angry. So guys, I'm going to show you the 10 people I was able to generate yesterday. So there we go. I generated these 10 people. I wanted to test the app and you can see the girl and the guy kind of look close to these two right here. Not exactly, but kind of close, right? And to be honest, I was a little bit disappointed about the lack of diversity of this app. Because as you can see, out of 10 people, only one person was not a white person, right? So I have only one black guy out of 10 prompts. I don't have any Asian people. I don't have any Middle Eastern people. I mean, it doesn't seem like Hispanic people are in there. So yeah, a lack of diversity, which is, in my opinion, in 2024, kind of like a big deal. I mean, if I am a Canva user and I'm not a white person, then I might feel left out. And this kind of, in my opinion, reinforces that bias in AI that most of the faces it's been trained on are white faces. And this is an issue. This is a problem. This is an ethical issue with AI for an app that promises to create ethically, right? It's in there, in their tagline. I think that is quite a fail, to be honest. So that's why I'm giving People Maker a two star out of five. I could have gone even less than that. I'm being generous because I do like that it's free. There's no sign up. It's easy to use. And I kind of like their UI here. They could add more expressions. And if they do, that would be a little bit better. But there is this big problem of lack of diversity, which kind of makes it useless to be honest all right guys we have three more apps to go so don't you go anywhere the next one is called dream face interesting name where dreams shapes faces all right so the promise here is to unlock creativity by turning face images into art design expressive portraits to reflect your vision okay so let's try it let's find it first dream face it's this one right here this is the interface upload an image of a person and describe the facial features you would like to see all right so i'm gonna go with my good old face yes let's continue with this one right here okay so it's the photo of me with short hair and my glasses I would say give me some pink hair and funky glasses give me some pink hair and funky glasses generate again not speeding it up so you can see the real-time process here sit back and we bring your ideas to life okay bring them to life I hope you guys are enjoying this episode this is episode 5 already of hot new Canva apps. Usually I don't review that many apps. I focus on the three best apps of the month. Oh, look at this. There you go. <laughs> Who is this guy? Kind of looks like me. Okay, let me show you first where this comes from because you need to see it. So it comes from here. All right. So the face is not too bad, but I mean, I asked for pink hair and funky glasses. It gave me the most boring glasses and gray hair, which I already have. Thank you very much. So yeah, kind Kind of a fail again i say again because yesterday i played around with the same app and this is what it gave me all right so i used this beautiful photo of mine and asked for long beard and clean haircut i got this i got a longer beard yes clean haircut <laughs> not sure i mean define clean right but 
yeah and then i asked for blue eyes and blonde hair and i got this yeah i had blue eyes blonde hair i would say this is white hair maybe that's how blonde hair look on an old guy me i don't know then i swapped to this photo right here which is a screenshot i took of myself of a video i made then i asked for long black hair i got this all right and then i decided let's go crazy and ask for some dreadlocks and i got this i mean this no woman no cry no i mean no no. And then since it worked so well on me, I, I decided to try it on Diana. And I asked for some blonde curly hair. And I got this. So Diana, it, she looks like Diana. Like, let's be honest, she looks like Diana with a few extra kilos, like a double chin. But hey, here is my pink hair. Oh no, I asked for blonde curly hair. But maybe got like confused and gave me my pink hair from the previous prompt. Anyways, this is dream face. I can assure you that they failed to deliver on the dream face part of their name. So yeah, one and a half star out of five. This is not a good app for some different reasons. Like, yes, there's no sign up and it's free, but I mean, the quality of the output is just deplorable. I mean, I don't know if that's a word, but it's deplorable. Let's agree on that term. It's deplorable. I deplorable explore this app. All right, moving on, we have two apps to go. This is Reimagine. Reimagine the art of the portrait. Reimagine the artistic style of your portrait images. Transform them into sketches, cartoons, mystical works, artistic masterpieces, arcane inspired visuals, or anime style depictions. Okay, so the promise is pretty cool. Like you upload an image and you've got a bunch of different styles that you can use to transform that image. So let's quickly find it first. Reimagine this one right here. This is what that the UI looks like. So choose a photo. I'm going to choose this photo. I just screenshot it of me. So there you go. This one right here. So you see, just took that screenshot. All right, I'm going to go for sketch first and generate this first image. And I'm going to speed up the video because this is getting long. Just want you to show you the result of the six different images using this one image. So there you go, guys. I just generated the six images. So the sketch, cartoon, mystic, anime art and arcane and this is the output and it's pretty terrible let's admit it this doesn't look like me at all i mean not one minute so what is the point like you're supposed to upload your own image to generate from there and it's clearly not there. Yesterday, when I was using this with Diana's photo, I got this. So yeah, I mean, what is this? Like, what is this? I mean, is this something you would be gladly using in your design like i mean i was speechless when i saw this photo also i ran into three different errors when i was generating these horrible photos so i basically wasted 10 minutes of my life because this wasn't quick like to generate these six images took me five minutes so my review my rating of reimagine is pretty terrible i only gave it half a star and i'm being generous this app yes it's free there's no login but the quality is just unusable Usable. If you want to create some ugly images of yourself, then maybe, yes, this is a good app. But I don't see how you would use that. The images are not great. I don't even like imagine for one second you could create consistent characters with this thing. It's pretty much useless. So yeah, sorry guys from Reimagine. You probably did mean well, but this is a very poor execution of using AI. I mean, this is using AI for the sake of using AI, in my opinion, with no clear like value added to the user. User. All right, the last app that I want to talk about is called Logo Maker. The promise is to create professional brand logos and that in an easy way. All right, so I'm going to try again because I've been trying to make the Logo Maker work since yesterday and it never worked. All right, so this is my last attempt live. So I tested it twice, didn't work. So let's go and find the Logo Maker. All right, so it's this one right here with the lion. The logo looks nice. So you need to describe your logo, the logo you want. So my idea was, okay, I'm just going to create a simple logo for my GPT, the cute hamster GPT. If you watched last week's episode, you know what I'm talking about. So I want a cute hamster with a purple background. 
okay a cute hamster with a purple background this should be straightforward as a logo i'm going to go to create and it's creating my logo please wait it may take a few seconds the truth is it may take a few days because yesterday never 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 worked and this morning it didn't work either so yeah i'm still like i'm leaving it the benefit of the doubt and if it works it would be awesome so i have something to show you and i'm not gonna wait forever for this to work so i'm gonna pause the video wait five minutes and if there's still nothing well i'll give it a very salty rating and unfortunately that's a fail again we couldn't create your logo please try again i think i'm not gonna try again i'm never ever gonna try again because this is what happens i was waiting forever for my logo to create to only get an error message so yeah logo maker you get the worst rating of this episode you got a zero star dude zero stars all right no bad feelings logo makers i'm sure you probably did some good job with this app but i would recommend you check it out because something is not working is it working on your side let me know in the comments like are you able to make the logo maker actually work and if yes what do you think of it and overall what was your favorite app of these 12 design apps i'd be curious to know your opinion about all of these apps because that was a lot of them that was quite a long tutorial and i hope you liked it i'm going to leave you with our hot new canva apps playlist this was episode five so we have four more for you to watch they're all right in here